is my favorite salad in the world. Um, and it's funny because I did find this recipe on Facebook years ago. Not that it's a, a super secret recipe, but um, we are going to make uh, some garlic butter steak. And I did go out and find a plant butter. I don't know how it is, but we're going to give it a shot. You guys, it's dairy free. It's made with almond oil. Um, we're going to start out with why we do the show, as we do every week. And it is um, because I'm a diabetic. I found out in about 2014 when I ended up in the hospital for three or four days. Um, and they basically told me I had to change my diet. And I followed what they did. And they put me on some pills. And it seemed to work for a few years and then uh, about two years ago my blood sugars just started spiking out of the blue and they put me on insulin and it went higher and they put me on more insulin and went even higher so I found a functional medicine doctor who sent me for a bunch of tests the amazing Dr. Justin Coop out in Naperville Illinois um, if you if you need a functional medicine doctor get a hold of me he's absolutely incredible guys I, I I'm 100% convinced he saved my life. Um, we went through the test, found out that I, my body makes insulin. I just wasn't accepting it. So he changed me over to the paleo diet. And of course, I've got to, you know, do my own thing. So I made my version of the paleo diet. We just cut the plate to quarters, one quarter protein, three quarters vegetables. And it's just that simple, guys. All of a sudden, my sugars dropped in half within two days. Within a month, I was off all my medications. I've dropped over 100 pounds in the last uh, about a year and a half um, with zero exercise, guys. I, I exercise is super important. Get that body going, make those, keep those muscles moving. But with my schedule, as much as I love to work out, I haven't been able to find time. But the weight still keeps coming off. My body feels better. My hips, my joints, everything feels better. Um, without carrying out all that extra weight, guys. Your diet is so important. So that's why we're here every Sunday. That's why I get up bright and early at the crack of dawn every Sunday to bring you guys this show um, so we can go ahead and, and uh, start eating healthier, guys. Um, our motto is find your healthy. You might not like some of the ingredients I'm going to use. Change it up. Let me know how it worked out. Um, but let's go ahead and get started here because uh, this is going to take a few minutes. I am actually going to take my my uh, steaks here. I'm going to rub them in a little bit of olive oil. What kind of steaks we got there, boss? These are, I am using filet mignon today. And I'm just going to rub in a little bit of oil here. And I'm going to grab a paper towel because I forgot to grab a paper towel here. And remember to always wash your hands. I always wash before guys my vegetables have already been washed I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper on these guys I'm just gonna get a little bit of fresh ground pepper here a little bit of fresh ground pink sea salt and of course I got to rub it in a little bit guys you want to get that stuff nice and uh, worked in there Wash my hands a little bit, salt the other side, a little bit of pepper, and of course this stuff is all the taste, guys, so make sure, uh, you know, you do what you uh, want to do, but make sure it's uh, to your taste and your family's taste. I'm going to go ahead, this is our, our new plant-based butter, so I am going to... Just cut a nice little chunk out here because we are going to mix it with a little bit of garlic here. All right. I'm actually just going to give that a little taste. Does it still taste like butter? It tastes like almond butter. <laughs> it's made with almond oil. So we're going to take our garlic here and we're going to throw a little bit of garlic in there. And then we're going to kind of just mix it in. 
don't know if you guys have ever made garlic butter for like garlic bread you just take it in there mix it in a little bit oh it acts like butter doesn't want to come out of my uh, whisk here Starting to smell like garlic. And that's the great thing, guys. You don't have to be a chef to cook. Just gotta enjoy what you're doing and keep practicing. If you're not good at it, just practice. I'm gonna throw a little bit more garlic in here because I do love garlic. Good for the blood pressure. Yep, and I'm not kissing anyone this morning, so I'll be good. <laughs> Yeah. At least I'm not kissing anyone that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> it's still early. All right, just get that in there. What's nice is it's going to be nice and whipped, which is easy to use. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our little uh, tabletop dealy here and I'm going to put it on a little bit higher because I just want to sear the outside I like my steaks uh, medium rare uh, a little bit of juice in there so I'm going to get that on a nice high, uh, a high heat there and then uh, we'll be good to go let's get this going I know this thing heats up pretty quickly so you're just going to throw your steaks in. Uh, we're going to do a couple minutes on each side. Um, if you like it a little more well done, um, you leave it out a few more minutes. These steaks are nice and, and uh, small. They're the petites. So they don't take that long to cook. If you've got a big T-bone or something you want to make, then it's going to take a little bit longer. But um, use your favorite steak, guys. Mine is the uh, filet. And uh, being single, I don't have to worry about buying a bunch of them, so it's still cost effective for me. I do get my, my meats through ButcherBox online. Um, they come ship to your house frozen, but they're all grass-fed beef. They are all um, uh, properly raised pork, free-range chicken. Excellent place to get your meats, guys. I usually get a box for about $150, and it'll last me about two months. Um, so, which is really good for your meats. All right, so this bad boy is heating up quick. So let's go ahead and pop these guys in there. Ooh, you hear that sizzle? And my pan is nice and hot. I'm going to rinse this off real quick because I only have the one plate. Get that quick rinse off, get all that nice juicy blood out of there. Get a quick wipe down. So we're going to need a place for these to rest. I am going to go ahead and uh, throw a little bit of garlic butter on these guys. We can get our garlicky, buttery taste on it. If I can get this off of there. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright, I'm going to cover these up. Let these cook, and while these are cooking, I'm going to start making the salad, guys. Alright. As you can see, I've already washed my veggies. I like my skin on the cucumbers. If you want to take them off, you're more than welcome to, but I cut them in about... A half inch to three quarters of an inch on the cucumbers here. Ooh, smell those steaks cooking. What I like to do is I like to just quarter these up real quick. Just take it, quarter it, and then right into the little bucket here. We're going to mix our salad in. 
And as uh, we've talked in previous episodes, there are different kinds of cucumbers you can use. These are just your old, regular, everyday garden variety cucumbers. And uh, they do have the, uh, the burpless cucumbers, they've got the English cucumbers. Use your favorite vegetables, guys. That's the great thing about cooking is you can get a recipe, but you can make it your own by using whatever favorite ingredients you want, whatever favorite spices you want. If you don't like it, you're not going to eat it, and the whole purpose of this show is to find stuff you're going to like and you're going to eat. And uh, one of my favorite things is uh, bringing some new flavors to this guy behind the camera here. <laughs> he loves to eat and uh, being able to bring him some new stuff is awesome. Ooh, I can smell that garlic in Yo, there. That smells freaking delicious. Yeah. Like, I don't even want you to finish cooking it. Yeah. And garlic is one of my favorite spices. I, I love it. And it's got such good health benefits for you. Um, I do prefer fresh garlic over the ground, but uh, you know today we got the ground, and next time it'll be the fresh. So, and this salad is really easy to make, guys. There's no reason you can't make a nice, healthy salad for dinner. It's literally taking just a few minutes. Even if you peel the cucumbers, we're talking another three or four minutes here. And I'm going to go ahead and check on my steaks here. I'm going to look and I'm going to actually turn that up just a little bit. So I want it to get a nice good sear on there. Next is tomatoes, guys. I like Roma tomatoes. For, my, for me, my tomatoes have got to be firm. And I just cut it in half, cut it in the quarters. That makes it easy for me to slice. And I just do a couple slices this way. Because you know me, I like my my veggies chunky. So I give it another little half there. In the pan you go. I'm usually using a little bigger knife. For this little small guy here, but you use what you got on you. And it doesn't matter if you don't have your favorite knife, you just go with what you got, guys. Cut the top off, cut the bottom off. You can slice them any way you want. It's your salad. I like mine diced a little bit. That way you get a good variety all the way through the salad. Especially when you're dishing it out. I mean, uh, literally, how long does it take to, to cut these uh, veggies? Not long, guys. And tomatoes are awesome for your heart. That's so why I like to throw a lot of these tomatoes in there. And then we're going to add the avocado in a minute. And that is a little trickier to cut, guys. Ain't going to lie. But man, whew, whew. if you like steak, guys, you are going to love cooking this. I, my mouth is literally watering just by the smell of the, uh, the steak cooking here. I cannot wait to get in there. Um, I haven't seen if anyone's watching yet. Do we know who's on here? We got anyone watching on the show? Oh yeah, we got a lot. All right, who do we got on here? It's a long scroll, but I'll try my best. Do it, man, do it. There we go, from the top. We got Randall James. We got Marty Jr. Crispin, uh, I can't even do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Verdusco Jr. Verdusco, yeah, it sounds like Verdusco. Yep. Yep. Jeffrey Walker, Dan Miller, Katie... Go Yeti? Alright. Yeah, you, you, got a, you got a whole fan base right here, bro. Nice. Welcome, guys. I'm glad you guys are on. Let me know uh, what you think. 
Let me know if you guys have ever made any of these before. And Greg how it turned Skinner. Out. Greg Yonan. Say Leonard Skinner. Greg Skinner. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, Greg? <laughs> Peter Madrid. Joy. Say Madrid. Yep. What's going on, Madrid? Say hi to Janelle and the kids. All right, guys. Mike Quesada. What's going on, Mike? Robert Peters. What's up? Thanks for coming on, guys. Man. And usually with a bigger knife, I'm a little bit quicker, but uh, this little guy is working just fine. Let me go ahead and turn these steaks, guys. I don't want them too well done. How do you usually like your steaks? How do I like my steak? Yeah. Medium rare. A little bit of juice coming out of it. You like yours a little more well done? I like mine just medium. Medium? Yeah, I like them straight medium. All right. We'll let yours sit in a little bit longer. That's the great thing, guys. You can have different people in your in your household that all eat a little different and. Just learn when to take the one out and leave the other one in a little longer. We don't all have to eat the same, guys. That's what this show is all about. Making food you like, the way you like it. Just make it healthy. That's all. A couple more of these tomatoes here, and then we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get into my one of my favorites here, avocados. Remember, you guys, check out the YouTube. Absolutely. Make sure you subscribe. Brunch with Joe, guys. These videos are on there, and you guys can pull them up anytime you want. You can uh, pause it while you're cooking. You can go back and uh, double check and make sure that uh, you know you got the right ingredients or... Did certain things the way you wanted, or if you want to do it the same way I'm doing, you can double check, guys. All right. This one I'm gonna leave a little chunkier. All right, guys. We are about done with our tomatoes, and I'm gonna show you guys how to. Or how I do an avocado, I should say. There's more than one way. There's always more than one way, guys. What I do is I just take my knife and I go around halfway here. And then I just give it a little twist here. You'll see half with and half without the seed. I just take my little knife, give it a good tug there, pop out that seed. You can save that for later if you want. I just cut that little piece of the top off there. Be very careful. And I just do it right here in the skin. Make sure that knife does not go through, guys. That is an easy way to cut yourself. Um, and I am going to grab a spoon here. That's how I like to do it, guys. Um, that comes with a lot of practice. Make sure you don't push too much with the uh, with the knife. It will go through and it will cut you. Then I just take a spoon and I just go around the edge of the skin. And voila! Look at that avocado everywhere. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Is that what they call food porn? Absolutely. 100%. 18 and over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for children or work. Your other option is to just take your spoon. I cut off the edge again. I usually have a bigger cutting board, guys. You can just take your spoon and spoon out the whole avocado here. And then cut it on your board. 
See that? Look at that. Nothing left, guys. None but the skin. That's it. And then you can just take it and slice it this way if you like. I do love my avocado. I, I like it chunky. This is an excellent fat for you guys to get in your diet. You got to have some good fats in there, guys. Do not try to do a fat-free diet. Your body needs these healthy fats, guys. So we're going to get this going here. Our steaks are almost done. And then we're going to do our dressing for our salad while those steaks are resting. And this is why I don't do it outside the skin because now my hands are awful avocado. They're all sticky. All right. Steaks are I'm going to go ahead and cut this. What's that? The steaks are smelling amazing. I'm telling you, man, that garlic is my favorite. I'm actually going to add a little more butter on there, guys. Make sure we got that nice buttery flavor on there and garlic flavor. Let me just get this other one out of here. There we go. All right. If you guys are adventurous, you can... Uh, Save those seeds and soak them in water for a little bit. And then uh, grow your own avocado trees. You got a notification. Eileen Love, Lady in Red. Eileen, says, what's going on? Yeah, she says, hello, Papa Bear. What's up, Eileen? Can't wait for you guys, you and Noel, to get out here. They're coming to Vegas, guys. I love it. I can't wait for them to come out here and be able to hang out again. Appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully uh, you're making some of the stuff at home, and I know you guys got a great place to get some good meat over there in Chicago. Stock up before you come out. All right, let's get that garlicky, buttery flavor on there, guys. And I don't mind mixing my flavors here. Get a little bit of avocado on there. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and get the butter off of here while I cut. Let's get these avocados taken out of here. Always keep a rag around, guys. You always got to clean up a little bit every now and again. So let's just get in here and get these avocados out of here. Get them cutting into our salad. Because these steaks are just about done. I'm about to pull them out right now. And let them rest. It's important to uh, to let those steaks rest a minute, guys. It'll, it'll finish the cooking process for you, and uh, just keep those juices in there and ready to go. So I'm actually going to pull that first one out. I'm going to leave that other one in for another minute or two, so that this guy can have his uh, medium steak done. Let's go ahead and pull this first one out and let it sit here and rest. Alright, get that other one in there for another minute. I finish up the salad. And I do suggest a bigger cutting board, guys. Um, unfortunately, I only brought the little one today. But, uh, you know, you make do with what you got, guys. Just that simple. A little cut here, a little cut there. Get to learn how to use your knife properly, guys. As I've talked in some other videos, especially in the uh, Facebook group, Brunch with Joe, I'll pop some videos in there, so make sure you, you join the group as well. Because there are some uh, videos I only put in there. But proper knife technique will uh, save you money and pain when you're not cutting your fingers and having to go to the hospital to get uh, stitches and whatnot. Not to mention the food you ruin by uh, dripping your blood all over it. Always keep your fingers bent. Use it as a guide for the knife, guys. Alrighty. Alright. Now we got all this.
this stuff in here. Let's move this out of the way and bring my bowl to the forefront here. All right, we're going to pull his steak out real quick, guys, before we start mixing this. Let's get this turned off. Guys, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm going to throw a little bit more butter on top of that. Get a little bit of butter out of here. Just a little dab on top. Just a little dab? A little dab on top since we have enough butter in there when it cooked. Just let that get in there. Put a little bit of dab on there. See that guys? It smells absolutely amazing. And now what we do is we just kind of toss our salad here. Did I ever mention I love my job? I think you've mentioned it once or twice. All right, I'm just going to mix that up a little bit, guys, just to get all this stuff mixed in. Then we're going to take olive oil, which is another good healthy fat, guys, and one that you're going to want to use as a dressing or a dipping. You're not really going to want to use it to cook too much unless you're cooking on low temperature. Get a little bit of olive oil in there. Balsamic vinegar, my favorite vinegar. You can use apple cider if you want. You can use white, whatever vinegar you want to use. Um, this is one of my favorite balsamics. I got it at Costco. I love the little pop-up top on there. Before we get that back on, a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to toss this up, and then we're going to start... Uh, Dishing this stuff out, guys. All right. Super fresh. You can hear the crackling in there. Oh yeah, you got I, I like my stuff fresh ground. Um, you don't have to fresh ground it if you want. You can always. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of garlic in here as well because I do love my garlic. This is uh, maybe uh, you want to skip the garlic if you're doing it for Valentine's Day, guys. Because your lady might not want to uh, give you a, a Valentine's Day kiss. Look at that. Just mix it up, guys. We're just mixing it, mixing it. Look at that. It looks juicy. That, between the oil and the uh, vinegar in there. Just want to make sure everything gets coated. Alright, and that's it, guys. Now let's uh, get our knife and let me get a fork here real quick, guys. Fork in here. Alrighty. Just like that. Let's give this a little cut. We gotta see the cut. Yeah. nice steaks right there guys mm. and then our salad and what you want to do is get yourself a nice little bit of salad in there and remember that our ratios uh, still apply even to this since I'll only be having a little portion of the, uh, the steak here and the uh, the rest of the guys here are going to jump in on some of these steaks. I'm going to make sure I got a ton of vegetables here. And voila, you're done, guys. Look at that. There's your meal. Oh, my goodness. All set to go. And it's a. Hold on, one more close up. One more close up for the people that just tuned in. Oh, uh, just one tuned more. in. Just tuned in. Got Look your delicious this. steak right there. Your plenty of vegetables. Quick, easy meal, guys. A great way to uh, to get that healthy meal in during the week or on the weekend. Uh, if you you want to have a date with your wife or you got a girl coming over, it's a, it's a quick, easy meal, guys, and um, she'll love you for it because you made her healthier. So um, that's pretty much it for this week. 
If you're thinking about going to McDonald's, forget about it. <laughs>